Hi, I'm Justin, and today we're building a sliding barn door. We decided to build our sliding barn door. We were going off of this picture to get the overall look of it, but we didn't want the color of it. So we started with one by six boards for the back and one by four boards for the trim pieces. Once we had the boards laid out how we wanted them to look in the final position, we cut the trim pieces down to side and glued them on. We did not want screw holes visible throughout the whole door, so we used glue and a brad nailer to hold it together while the glue dried. We left one side long so that we can go back and cut the boards down to length so we have a flush cut on the top of the door. Once the door was structurally held together, we went back and finished up with all the trim pieces. After all the boards were attached, went through with wood filler to fill all the nail holes. For the back of the door, we needed a recessed handle because this is the side of the door that will be facing the wall. So I went back through with my router and routed out a hole to fit the handle perfectly. After everything was dry, went back and sanded the whole door down, starting at 80 grit all the way down to 220. And to give it that authentic barn door look, we went with the dark wood stain and went back and protected it with polyurethane. After looking for all the studs in the wall to see if they lined up with the hardware that came with the sliding door kit, we ended up going with a header so that we could mount the header to the wall and then mount the sliding door track right in the position we needed to go. We went with a six foot seven sliding door kit from Industrial By Design. I will include the link for the kit we use down in the description below. The kit comes with five long bolts and spacers to attach the bar that the sliding door mounts to. We made to triple check the level on this one so that the sliding door did not roll to one side. We then installed the wheels onto the door. Then it was time to finally put the door up. When the door worked, we installed all of the safety hardware so that the door did not fall off. And finally, it was time to install the barn door handle. 
This was my first barn door build. I was really happy with the results. We had a ton of fun building it, and this was for my friends Chris and Jamie in their new house, so I hope they enjoy it for years to come. Thank you. 